This is Brett Waltermath of Starwatch Media here at the 2012 Los Angeles Film Festival for the world premiere of the dark comedy Red Flag. Now, as we were saying, you are the writer, director, and star of Red Flag. Can you please tell us a little bit about the film? Sure. Red Flag is a very dark comedy about a filmmaker who goes on tour with a film while kind of uh, negotiating with deep-rooted existential fears of death marriage and uh, various personal demons. Now you play the role of Alex Karpovsky in this film. What are the main differentiations between you in real life and your character? I think that one of the main differences between my character and myself is uh, though my character harbors many of the same fears and insecurities as I do, I think he hides them much less successfully and he wears them much more, he exposes them much more to a public uh, to, to, into a public space and I, and I like to think that I nurture a lot of those fears but I do a better job being uh, discreet about them. What is it like for you for this film specifically balancing being the uh, having the lead role being the director as well as a writer on this project what was it like for you to balance those responsibilities at from pre-production on through post-production? It didn't feel like a balance to be honest it was just sort of one idea that I tried to just express uh, as, uh, un, in, 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 as uncompromised and undiluted a way as I could. So it's not like I took off one hat and put on another hat. Just we're all kind of just doing it together at the same time and it was just sort of one, one stream that I hope I encouraged all the actors to kind of jump into whenever they wanted. Now supposedly as far as your cinematographer that you used on set as well as the cast members, you weren't very familiar with very many of them. What was that like for you actually using, uh, using crew and cast members that you weren't that familiar with and, and being comfortable with them on set? Yeah, I knew the cinematographer a little bit, but you're right, I didn't know the, uh, the actors and that was terrifying because I didn't know if they could deliver, I didn't know if they would understand the tone that I'm going with, I didn't know if they would get along with each other. Uh, very fortunately, I don't think I'd be, I don't think you'd be holding a microphone in front of me right now if, if any of those things weren't the case. If any of those things, you know, if they didn't get along with each other. You know, I think we had a really quick gelling, things congealed really quickly, not only in terms of their relationship to me and the sensibility of the movie, but also to each other, to the whole sort of strange, quivering pulse that we try to capture those two weeks during the filming. I, I'm very lucky. Now, please correct me if I'm wrong, but this, of course, is a feature film, but it's been rumored that this that you went into filming with only a 35 page treatment what was that like going going in and and so much being essentially played on the fly during production what was that like for you yeah we, we shot this film off a 35 page outline not a script um it was wonderful we had every scene of the movie figured out more or less we we knew the beginning middle end of the movie but also we knew kind of what every scene what the motivations were at stake and what, need, what, what the A, B, and C beats are of every scene. What I didn't write is the dialogue on how to get from A to B and C in every given scene. So it was kind of a very structured way to improv. Uh, and, and I loved it. I didn't know the actors very well, so I didn't want to sort of, I wanted them to kind of own the characters and have fun with it. So I didn't want to kind of painstakingly write dialogue that would change a lot. I wanted them to understand the story as a whole, understand the acts, and then understand the scenes and the beats within the scene. Once they do that, and I have faith that they knew that, they can put it in their own words. And uh, you only need a 35 page outline to kind of pull that idea off. In your casting, was improvisation skills a very key aspect during your casting, uh, finding actors that you knew would be able to improv really well during filming? Yeah, uh, because I, none of the dialogue was written, uh, the way, there's no real two similar ways to get to A, B, and C. Uh, from take to take and I encourage a lot of improv and I found actors well I, I decided to work with actors who are seasoned improvisers because they because the story would have the, the the approach would unravel if, if they couldn't improvise so yes what would you like the audience to take away from the story I'd like people to understand that uh, it's a comedy I'd like them to laugh but I'd also like for them to walk away understanding that there are all there's the constellations of fears and anxieties that influence their decision making in ways they may never be aware of. And it might take epiphanies and extraordinary circumstances for the stones to come to, 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 uh, to turn themselves over. Uh, but once they do, uh, there becomes a choice of whether or not you choose to accept it or continue to repress it. And that's one of the main choices a character in my film makes.
putting so much of yourself into this project as well as the lead character having your name what are your feelings going into the world premiere the first time people are going to see this film are you more nervous than you normally would be putting so much of yourself into this project no i'm pumped up i'm, re I'm ready to show this movie we've tested the hell out of it i'm happy with the way it's testing i'm proud of it and uh and i'm ready to roll and uh and I'll, we'll see what happens upcoming projects for you sir I'm just, I'm, I do more acting than filmmaking recently, so I'm acting uh, in a TV show called Girls, and that shoots for a few more months, and that, when that finishes, maybe I'll think about something else. Thank you so much for the time, sir. Really appreciate it. Have a great night. Enjoy the screening. Thank you.